Pack 13 consumer alert. A Valley woman is struggling to recover after an exploding Takata airbag almost killed her. To make matters worse, it never should have been in the car in the first place. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is live near Lamb and Sahara with more on the local victim injured in the faulty airbag at the center of a massive worldwide recall. Christopher. Trisha, it happened right here at this intersection. Another car caused Karina Dorado's uh, car to uh, crash. Her uh, airbag deployed, sending shrapnel ripping through her neck. They're supposed to protect you from serious injury in a crash. They believe it to be safe. But airbags designed to possibly save your life nearly claim the life of Karina Dorado. Almost killed her. Billy Marie Morrison is Dorado's attorney. She tells us last March another driver caused Dorado to crash her white Honda here at South Louise in Patterson. The vehicle that she was driving had a recalled airbag in it. What looks like a routine fender bender almost turns deadly, Morrison says, because of a Takata airbag. This airbag made by Takata is basically a bomb. The problem, a faulty inflator. It can explode when the chemical propellant inside breaks down. This simulation shows shrapnel shooting out where the driver would sit. I mean, it could have blown her head off. The flying debris tore through Dorado's windpipe. She wasn't able to speak for quite some time. Dorado is one of 200 victims injured or killed by the inflators. She can't work. She can barely speak. She doesn't understand what's going to happen. What Dorado didn't know, her car was damaged in a wreck in 2015, rebuilt and resold. A salvage yard pulled an airbag inflator from another car and placed it in Dorado's. Honda traced that inflator to a 2001 Accord. Right now, her life is shattered. Now, it is legal to pull uh, airbags out of wrecked cars and resell them to junkyards, even recalled airbags. Some shops, some shops may not even know that those airbags have been recalled and no government agency monitors those transactions. We're live. Christopher King, 13 Action News.